move on to the outlook to uh, each of the big four CBAs. And let's just stick with basketball. What do you all think will ultimately happen? Are they all going to go overseas? Are they going to start their own league? Are they going to come to an agreement? Are they I never going to have NBA basketball again? better like college basketball. No. <laughs> sure. I say an agreement within the league. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I think that's a possibility of that, especially if the players are willing to come down to the 50-50 split. I think there's been a, a huge resistance on the player's side. And getting back to what I said earlier, the league is a lot different than it was several years ago, and I think the players have to be mindful of that. And I think ultimately, if you look at the history of most collective bargaining negotiations in professional sports, it's a lot easier to keep 30 or 32, depending upon the sport, owners in this case, unified than it is to keep, whether it be 1,500 NFL players or 450 NBA players, uh, to keep all of them unified. And again, as I always say, and for any uh, women in the audience, I apologize, I don't mean this in a chauvinistic way, but I say the wife factor comes into play. And what I mean by that is, as Darren said, now the NBA players are going to start losing their paychecks. And all of a sudden, the wife factor, and what I mean by that is, honey, we got to have a paycheck. You know, whether or not this, uh, you're not going to really impact it that much, whether you're making five million or seven million or seven or nine, it's not going to impact us. We need money. And I think there have been historically a number of NBA players, at least it's been reported this way, who have not done a great job of preparing for this uh, potential loss of a season. Uh, unlike the other sports with the NFL, I know did a, a pretty good job of cautioning players in Major League Baseball. Players Association has always done a great job of creating uh, this war chest, as I'll call it, for the players to be able to withstand a potential lockout or a, uh, just a work stoppage. So the creditors are starting to say, honey, we want the money. That's so, true. So, so that's, I, that's, I think you might be right there. But I think if it doesn't get done, I think if they go the decertification route, though, I think oh, that, right, will, right. that will change it uh, in a big way, because I think then, you, then once the lawyers get involved, as you said before, Travis, the reverse with the NFL. When the lawyers were at it, and we all know once the lawyers start getting in, and they are litigators inherently, they want to litigate. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in necessarily reaching a settlement. Ultimately, it wasn't until the lawyers went away in the NFL, and yeah. the party sat down, that's when the deal got done. That's exactly right. And I think, I think it's going to be a while in the NBA. I think... Uh, yeah, I haven't been following as closely as I had the, uh, the NFL lockout, but I think there are a lot of issues, and, and dollars are an issue there. And you're not talking about conduct policies, you're talking about split of the pie. And, it, and it's a lot of money, and if the reports are accurate about the, the financial status of the NBA teams, uh, asking players to give back money is going to be difficult. Um, I think it's going to be a while. Baseball, I think things look a little better. Football, hopefully we've, we've got a long time before we talk about any of these issues. But I think the most interesting one, Caleb, is going to be hockey, which we haven't talked about at all. And I, and I say that is because if you look at the, the, the players, and what I mean by that, the two lead negotiators from both sides. Obviously, the Players Association has hired Don Fear, who has a tremendous history with the Baseball Players Association, and a tremendous track record of success in handling those negotiations. And if you look at the, the commissioner side, or the management side with Gary Bettman, he walked into that negotiating room also feeling pretty strong and powerful because the last time he was incredibly successful from the management's perspective. Again, I'm not saying from a fan's point of view necessarily, but from a, just an analytical perspective on the deal, he was able to get a better deal than was actually offered as the final offer prior to the whole thing blowing up. Um, so I think that's going to be a very interesting dynamic to watch uh, because hockey is a lot healthier than it was in the last go-round in negotiations, a lot more interest in the sport. And I think those uh, two parties have both had a lot of success, and I don't like to use the word egos, but they're both very successful, very bright men. And I think that challenge, and maybe it'll work well, I don't know, but certainly you run the risk of both of them if they are very strong in their convictions, uh, leading to some potential problems in the NHL. Okay. Darren, what are your thoughts on the uh, baseball and or upcoming hockey negotiations? Well, one, I live in Florida, so I don't even know what the NHL is. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, fan is actually. As far as baseball is concerned, uh, you know, I, I, the issues are obviously there with uh, some sort of slotting system as of right now in the last system. Uh, Bud Selig, he gave his guidance. He basically said what he thought should be uh, the particular slots, but it wasn't something that was actually enforced when teams overspent at those slots. I think that that will give way. I'm not, I, I don't think that there will be a slotting system. Uh, another issue is over whether um, the international players should be included within a draft instead of being free agents once they become 16 years old. Uh, and it's not something that the union is particularly pressing. I don't think the owner's side is really pressing it. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there's labor peace in, in Major League Baseball and that there's a new agreement signed before, before this one expires.